What's up everybody? Mr. Kyle back here today to talk about the Vortex Diamondback Tactical. It's a 6x24x50. It's uh, my newest uh, addition to the collection. I'm going to be uh, doing a quick review and uh, mounting this bad boy on my 6x5 today. It's a pretty uh, fancy box comes in. Plus this bad boy out. Comes with the uh, the reticle manual and the product manual in uh, package there for you. And it also comes with, it looks like a scope cloth. And uh, another little sunshade to extend the tube on the front there. Get rid of all this foam. Bust this bad boy open. little warning tag there for you for your torque specs on your mounting screws comes with a nice rubber silicone-ish scope caps it's uh, fairly light I think it's made of aluminum grade aircraft alloy yeah aircraft grade aluminum alloy has the fast focus eyepiece the exposed tactical turret. So what I really like about it first off the jump is everything is super low profile. All your knobs and your adjustments and everything are really, you're not gonna hang these up really going through the, when you're in the field, going through the brush. So explain it a little bit. You have your, uh, I think they call it the uh, fast focus on the side. You have your turrets on the top and your uh, turrets on the side. And as you can probably hear, Pretty good volume and they feel really solid in the turrets and for the very tight for your zoom and then on the front here you have your fast focus which also feels very solid and sturdy which is a good thing you want that very tight and uh, the glass is super super clear and it's very, it looks very, very high quality glass. I believe that's a laser etched reticle into the glass. What also comes with this uh, little sunshade. I'm gonna go ahead and install that right off the bat. And uh, also gonna talk a little bit about, it has, I think 65 MOA for your elevation and your windage. So that's pretty good range. And then you can always add different rails and everything like that to improve your elevation. 3.9 inches of eye relief. So that's uh, pretty substantial. And if you look right in the center of the reticle, I'll throw a little uh, picture of it up on the screen now. But it, right in the middle of the crosshairs, it has a quarter inch MOA where it's just open. There's like an open circle there. And I really like that because it makes it really nice to line up all your targets. Everything's super clear. And uh, all your adjustments when you go for all your adjustments on it are a quarter inch MOA, which is super nice. And then your dot in the middle is also quarter inch. So they kind of comboed everything there. And then you have your speed all the way up to 300 off the, for your fast focus on the side. And then it, all the way out on the end. So uh, I think the next step is to take this bad boy and mount it up. I'll be mounting it on my 6.5284. It's uh, I built it on a uh, Savage 110 action. It uh, put a different barrel on it and new stock. So uh, it's time for the new scope. And uh, we're gonna be using these Weaver rings. I really like the Weaver rings. They're super solid. They're a little bit heavier, but they're, as in my opinion, they're as solid as a you need on a rifle scope so uh we're gonna go ahead and start putting these bad boys on and it includes a wrench in there in the box with the rings and once you got those bad boys attached go ahead and Take your scope, set that bad boy on there, 
like so. And then uh, go ahead and start popping on the caps. Then once you got all those started in there, you're gonna wanna go ahead and torque it down to the specs. Look through there, line everything up, or use your leveling kit, whatever method you guys use, and uh, get your scope all true to the gun. Got the nice matte black finish, looks really nice, seems super durable. Um, mounting was super simple, all the functions work really well, everything's super tight. The glass is really nice, the reticle is amazing, and uh, yeah, so if you were looking to pick one of these bad boys up, I definitely recommend doing it. And uh, we'll take it outside and do some shooting. Alrighty, we finally made it out to the range today. We got the uh, 6.5 ready to go. Today we're uh, going to be sighting this in. It's the Vortex Diamondback Tactical, and uh, we're going to bore sight it right away. Which means I pulled the bolt out, got it laying here, out the ammunition out of the gun, and uh, actually I'm going to look down the barrel and line it up with the target and then adjust the scope to it. It should get me fairly close. And then I'm going to send a couple rounds at 50 yards and see how it shoots, and I'm going to put a 200-yard zero on this scope today. So uh, let's get started. just want to look down straight through your barrel and try to center the bullseye as best you can. And then come up, <clears throat> do your adjustments. I was a little low and to the right. Crank that over a little bit. And that should get us generally pretty close. I'm going to slap the bolt back in it and see if we can hit something. Looks like we are high and to the right. Go ahead, take this back down. And we will fire another round. Looks like it is walking down nicely. We went another 20 clicks each direction and see if that'll pull us right down. All right, our elevation is pretty much where we want it. We'll take it another 25 clicks to the left. We should be ready to move to 100 yards. One more shot. What you need it. That looks to be a little bit too much. Bring it back, say about 10. This last one. Consider close enough. We'll move to 100 yards. See how that shoots. Yeah, I got her dialed in at 50. Now we're gonna shoot three rounds at 100 yards, and then uh, go from there. Make sure we're still tracking. Gun still shooting good. Let's do it.
those three shots. We are a little bit to the left and a little high. I want it a little high, so I'm going to just move it to the uh, right, just a hair. We'll uh, do a couple more. Make sure it moves over. Like it walks back over to the right, we're dead in line. We're gonna go with uh, a couple shots at 200 and then we'll set our zero final step and then I'm gonna try to shoot up to 500 after that, just uh, shooting at some plates. Let's uh, see what it'll do. to the right, not to the trigger pull. That one was definitely a trigger pull. Behind to the right. Go ahead and shoot a few more. Get it dialed in. Just a hair low. So we're all around it. Get one in the bullseye. Come here. Pretty spread out, but we're all right in the same area. One more. Let's 
shooting a pretty good group at 200. They're all around it. I think it's just going to take a little more shooting to really get it dialed in. Let's try. See how far we can reach out with this puppy. I'm going to go ahead, try a 300 yard shot, and work my way to five. was 400. We still don't have hardly any drop. The 65284 is a super fast flat shooting bullet. Let's see if we can go to five. There you go, 500 yard plate. The 65284 in the Diamondback Tactical. It's a, uh, I still am in love with the glass, super clear, even all the way to 500. I plan on shooting long range with this rifle. So uh, super, super good glass. The reticle is amazing, works perfectly. This rifle, I haven't had to have many adjustments. We don't have any wind out here today. But uh, so far, I think it'll uh, do the trick. I'm super happy with it. So there you go. Now you've seen it. Now you know. Have a good night, y'all. Let's go to 200. 